So when you are living in this area, you have to leave it like you cannot take yourself to a higher level. Even me as I was a kid, I used to play in this mud. Most of the, of the children in the area are having diarrhea complications, stomach problems. It's not every time that you will eat. It's not every time that you will have your supper, your breakfast, no. Even if it's breakfast, you may have just water. So at that time when I was sponsored, I was very little. I felt happy. From my sponsors, I have received emotional support, physical support. When they send some money, I'm able to, to at least buy something that I had, I had lacked. You see, when somebody writes to you and you have no family relationship and that person cares for you, that is somebody sent by God. I mostly write them to thank them for their continued support, to help, to help them learn about Nairobi, help them learn about the people living in the slum so that they may be able to know. But mostly I would like to, to speak to them in, face to face. Hey, it's so nice to see you. It's kind of in real life, not exactly. From the first time that we saw saw you in a photograph, and you look like you might have been, I don't know, eight years old. And I'm a, I am older. Now I'm a grown man. Yeah. So I decided that I'll be doing law. Yes, I want to become a lawyer. Well, I'm not surprised because one letter that you sent us when you were maybe 13 or so, we all decided in the family that we thought that you were going to be the president of Kenya one day. And I think law would be a very good uh, start for, for that. <laughs> you see, in Kenya, we have so many unsolved problems, unsolved cases in the court. So I want to study law so that I can help where maybe I will needed. So I want to to study hard and help the, help the people who have not received maybe their, their justice. Uh, so this is my mother, she, as you heard earlier, she's called Monica. What is the best advice that maybe you or Dave there can give me? To follow what your heart tells you is the, is the correct thing in everything that you do. So in how you treat other people and um, how you live your how you live your life. The, the heart is the seat of um, of love and care for other people. Thank you for everything. Thank you for sponsoring me, for being with me, for protecting me, for helping our family. We're we're here with you, and we want we want to continue to follow you. And maybe we will come visit one day. Thank you. Bye. 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 Take good care of your beautiful boy. Bye. <laughs> Once I am able to, to complete my course, do a good degree, we will one day meet. You see, making friends is a good thing in the, in the world. You know, you can't live with, without friends. To see, you know, his personality and to see how full it is and how friendly he was, you know, it was really just like a huge eye-opener. I mean, I'm almost going to cry. It's like, it was like a joyful thing. I. I just hope that he can have a happy and fulfilled life and be able to, you know, help in his community and improve the prospects for, you know, other younger kids, you know, coming along. It makes me feel appreciated. It has helped me in my education because education is the only thing that can remove me out of this slum. If I work smart and I work hard, I will be able to get out of this area. but. I will not get out of this area and leave it alone like that, no. If I leave, I will not forsake it. I will also come back, help the children, because I also got support from someone somewhere.